So, hello, hello. Hello, Cédric. Hello, Ellie. Today I'm speaking with Ellie, and Ellie is a brilliant teacher, which I met in India. She's from France and living in Berlin at the moment. And today we want to speak about our upcoming yoga TTC, Yin Yoga, uh, to be specific. And I will ask Ellie some questions. So, how are you today? I'm really good, thank you. It's really nice and sunny in Berlin for once. And uh, yeah, how are you? I'm also fantastic, thanks. <laughs> Um, I'm uh, trying to get life as much as possible through my body. So what else can I ask for? And, um, so I have prepared some questions for you so that the people who watch this video can um, get an idea what they expect, what they will get when they come to the training you lead. And uh, the first one would be, if you can introduce yourself, tell a little bit about you, maybe who you are as a human and what is your qualification as a teacher? And yeah, who are you, basically? Okay, so I'm Ellie from France, as you said. And um, when I was younger, I used to study music. And this is how I got introduced initially to yoga when I was 12. Mm -hmm. However, yoga was not so popular in France uh, when I was 12. So I stuck to the pranayama and meditation aspect because the, the asana classes were actually cancelled after two weeks or something, which really disappointed me because I already loved it, but there you go. Mm. So for years I was just doing uh, pranayama meditation along with the music and then when it mm. got to choose uh, the time to choose a career, I didn't really like to teach piano and uh, you know give concerts and stuff. So I decided to become an osteopath and uh, throughout the years studying as an osteopath, of course, I needed to ground myself. So that's how I got back into the asana practice, which mm -hmm. I found really helpful. So mainly via Hatha at the time and then gradually there was a, an Ashtanga school. So I did a lot of Ashtanga. And then uh, I went into Vinyasa Flow and eventually also during a Vinyasa Flow workshop, I started Yin, which was a, a life changing event for me. So that's oh, a little yeah. yeah. Same, same here. I agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you also did uh, Anusara Yoga, is that right? Yes, I did uh, a two. training in, in Anusara. So I have, I call myself a 500 hour uh, YASEP instructor, or whatever. Yeah. But I have like a thousand something hours, you know. So I did Anusara, Megan. At some point, you stopped training. counting. Yeah, I, I stopped counting. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, and uh, you're doing a yin yoga ttc a teacher training course uh 50 hours with us here in greece and uh super happy to have you here but what is the focus of this yin training maybe you can give us a, a yeah idea yes so i can say what makes it a little bit special first and then what mm -hmm. makes it a yasep 50 hour level one right cool yes so what makes it special is, um, as the title suggests, so it's intrinsic uh, womb wisdom as well as yin. Mm -hmm. And it's really to reconnect women with their feminine, uh, when I use feminine and masculine, I mean energies, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than mm -hmm. genders. So it's yeah. to reconnect women with their intrinsic, feminine, creative, receiving, in the flow energy which unfortunately mm -hmm. in this society which is uh, capitalist and where we have this patriarchy and all this internalized perhaps patriarchy and uh, capitalism uh -huh. going on so it's good for women to reconnect to themselves because unfortunately otherwise we're all a little bit too much in our masculine right yeah, and yeah. so when you're a man leading a career being in your masculine is great but also sometimes being in your feminine can be uh, beautiful good for you to relax yeah and for mm -hmm. women it's super important because if we're always in our masculine energy we can achieve a lot and we can achieve as much as men do but unfortunately, mm -hmm. it tends to leave us in this kind of depleted, angry energy because we're not able to be women anymore, right? So mm -hmm. how are we going to reconnect to this intrinsic feminine energy? Mm -hmm. uh, three things. We're going to do cacao ceremonies that are great to Ooh. open the heart. 
<laughs> and throughout these cacao ceremonies, there's going to be lots of little surprises, but one of the central things will be um, self massages. So depending on what we're working on that day, it's either going to be a self massage of the womb from the outside, of course, but maybe yeah. we'll do um, a meditation to uh, visualize clearly, you know, the anatomy of the womb or that before we do the self massage. And the day that is gonna be about the breast, we'll do a self massage of the breast, how to discover what a breast normally feels like, but also um, which enables us to see then if there are lumps growing to discover them early. So it's a great practice to keep. Mm. Um, and another time there will be something more related to the lymphatic drainage in general. So these mm -hmm. are the cacao ceremonies. And as I say, like there will be lots of little surprises, but I don't want to say everything in here. So no, the no. second thing is going to be through the sequencing that we're going to reconnect to our cyclical, um, our cyclical nature. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll have a look. As you know, I'm a big fan of sequencing. I even wrote Absolutely. a book about it. <laughs> yeah. But um, so we'll have a look at sequencing in terms of yin sequencing, so with meridians, how to address certain organs and all these things. But yeah. we'll also have a look at yin-yang sequencing, so how to balance yin and yang energies, feminine, masculine energies. Um, yin and yang, you mean that as a practice, as a yoga practice? Yes, exactly. So I call okay. it yin-yasa, as you know, but mm -hmm. it's uh, yin-yasa classes or yin-yang classes. And we'll have a look at how to produce these uh, sequences that are smart to rebalance the energies, right? <laughs> but also we'll have a look at, a, in a bigger picture way, in terms of how, as women especially, if we sequence um, similarly from day 1 to 30 or 1 to 28 in our cycle, we are losing a very important aspect of ourselves. Um, we are losing our cyclical nature. So we'll have a look at how to sequence differently depending on what we need during our cycle. Yeah. So that will be cool. interesting too. And the third thing- That's mind blowing. <laughs> was that? That's mind blowing already. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I'm really yeah. I'm excited about that, yes. Yeah. And so the third thing is through trauma release. Um, mm -hmm. So we accumulate minor and major traumas during life. And mm -hmm. uh, it can be emotional, it can be physical. And these traumas tend to be stored uh, in the body in general, which is great to release using yin. But we'll be using techniques to release uh, trauma from the psoas because the psoas is a huge muscle really connected yeah. to our, um, how do you call it, the um, serpentine brain, how do you call it, the reptilian brain. And reptilian so it's brain. really um, storing these deep traumas yeah. from childhood. And by using mm -hmm. certain techniques, we will release um, the psoas, which will enable us to be more in the flow again, because if there's too much trauma stored, especially in the psoas, it can cut the flow of energy from the womb, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So cool. this is a little bit what makes it special. Um, yeah. Will there be also basics in Yin Yoga? So if you want to get a 50 hour after your 200 hour, uh, you can just contact me via the Yoga Alliance website. What makes mm -hmm. it a uh, level one is that you'll get everything about the meridians, theory and practice, how to sequence mm -hmm. for specific organs, for specific meridians, as I said already. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be the theory, all the latest research about fascia, which I'm really excited about. And there's also a little workshop, mm -hmm. which I love to lead to show you how when you release a certain area, uh, you can actually mm -hmm. release a totally different area, which is fascinating, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. And um, there will be daily asana labs. So if you come with an injury, mm -hmm. you can actually still come because we're going to cover how to use bolsters and blankets and so, so on and so forth. Um, and even if just in terms of there's a concept of compression versus tension that will be covered, uh, which you may have seen on your 200 hour, but maybe not. So it's a great way to tune into that. 
And within this, we'll discover what modifications you can use in case mm -hmm. you have a certain body type that prevents mm -hmm. you from uh, doing certain things. Yeah. Is it for beginners? Is it for uh, experienced practitioners? Is it for both? For women, men? Who can come? For whom is it? So it is obviously for women are going to be super interested, I'm sure. However, if yeah. you're a man and you'd like to take it, it's not a problem. Uh, mm -hmm. It could make you understand what's happening in your partner uh, or women in general, which can be super useful, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And uh, shall I? Yes. So in terms of beginners, you can come absolutely as a beginner because the classes will be very well cued. It's more about tuning into your sensations. Mm -hmm. And absolutely, even as a beginner, you can start the journey from day one in the right way. So <laughs> it's Why a great not? opportunity. Yeah. And if you want to become a teacher, uh, or if you're already a 200 or 300, 500 hour teacher, of course, it's for you. Yeah. It's just going to make you go deeper. And it's going to give you many insights, um, many, many insights that you may could not you have tell, had. Could you tell me a typical day? How does a day look like when you are someone as a participant is at this retreat? training so the typical day i try to make it quite zen because it's still a yin training right mm -hmm. um, so the classes will start at 8 30 in general and the first class will be your yin yasa or yin yang so that you have feminine and masculine energies in the morning mm -hmm. so that you're awake for the day or so and it will include pranayama and meditation practices and right before and after, we'll do a short journaling session just to get you to mm. tune into your body. Then mm. the breakfast will come. After breakfast, we'll have uh, theory sessions until lunchtime. Lunch will be long so that you can chill by the beach. At or... the beach, exactly. The beach is just 100 meters down the road. So there's a very beautiful sandy beach. It's not too okay. busy, especially not in October. And uh, you have at the other side, the mountains, old villages and olive trees. It's very beautiful. Wow. I'm mm -hmm. excited. Yeah. So, yeah, the lunch breaks will be for this and to integrate a little bit what you've been learning. But in general, to chill yeah. more, to be in your in your being, right, rather than doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and after that, there will be workshops. So it depends on the day, either workshops or other theory classes. Then dinner will come and in the evening from 8.30 to 10.30 or maybe from 8 to 10. Let's see. It depends on the day and on the yeah. energy. Um, there will be so the famous cacao ceremonies and all these mm -hmm. more, you know, embodied workshops. And yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Um, there's one day when you will be leading one. And yeah. so that one, I think we will stick late afternoon because in the evening we'll have uh, a care town as well with... Uh, Athena, Athena, yes, it's yes. beautiful, yeah. Yeah. We just uh, got also the sound um, crystal balls. Uh, they are just behind me. It's also okay. very beautiful. We have that once a month. Uh, maybe it comes into that time, I think so. Uh, so we offer a crystal bowl concert kind of thing where you Amazing. can relax. Yes. <laughs> Okay, thanks. And um, how can people book? So one way is, of course, over our site, like uh, on the page where you are now seeing the video, or uh, you can chat to us as Inea Yoga, but another way would be over you somehow. Yes, um, so I'm still in the Middle Ages and very much, uh, you know, word of mouth still. Yeah. However, you can find Good. me um, on Ellie Giselle on Instagram. Uh, and where I advertise a little bit, and you can send me a DM there. After that, I can send you emails with more specific details, and um, I can tell you how to book. That sounds like a deep exploration of your own body and uh, a lot of wisdom and knowledge that comes with it. Yes, exactly. Great, great. I'm looking so forward to welcome you here, and it's the first time we're doing that together, but I'm super, super happy uh, that it will happen finally. <laughs> Yes, I'm and, super excited. Thank you so much for creating the opportunity. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, yeah, okay. So from my side, that's it. Thank you. Cool. Thank you for having me and uh, see you soon. Okay, bye.